Marcus Robert Johnson here on Christmas Day. Happy Christmas. But, uh, yeah, she lives. Sasha lives. Oh, come on, 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 before I get a, a YouTube strike. But, uh, today on this drive, I want to talk about performance enhancing drugs, steroids, you know, the PEDs. And, uh, I just want to say, uh, first thing I want to say is that yeah, it's everywhere. <laughs> it's everywhere, bro. Everyone's, everyone, there's a certain, especially with the science of today, and ever since they started figuring this sports science stuff out early on, I don't exactly know, but... I would say like between 60s, 70s, 80s, they probably started really figuring out what they can pump us up with that uh, take us to the next level. And that's really what they're for is to take you to the next level. PEDs, steroids, it's not something you're going to take or put into you that's just going to overnight, you're going to wake up big as hell and strong and you're going to have all this cardio. No, 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 no. That's not what it does. But what what the performance enhancing drugs do that is key it gives athletes the ability to push themselves a little bit farther than what they would have been able to on their own and it gives athletes the ability to recover a lot faster than they would have been able to on their own you see guys it's 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 not very it's not a human thing unless you're eating perfect and it's just incredibly hard unless you're eating perfect Unless you're sleeping perfect, unless you don't have a job, unless you have time to recover and focus, like, it's, people are at a point that is almost, that is technically impossible to reach. It's only through medicine that people, that you're able to see Floyd Mayweather do what he does, Conor McGregor do what he does, John Bones Jones do what he does, people like that, you know, even Roy Jones do what he does. Now, and... What I'm saying is that when the when it comes out that somebody when somebody gets caught red-handed, people go crazy. Oh, he's not good. He's not this. And it's like you got. What I want you to realize with this video is that when I kind of started my point before I rambled on is that you can only get to a certain level on your own with with your body without medicine, with the typical training before you're gonna hit a level where you just can't go no more. You can only run so fast, you can only run for so long, you can only punch for so long, do things for so long, breathe hard for so long, you need water, you need to eat. And that's what PEDs do. They allow you to go the extra mile. And that is why guys get ripped and jacked and strong because they're able to work out longer. If I can only work out, and, I'm, and I, got, I work a job and all this stuff, but if I can only work out like an hour or two a day, and then I'm hurt and I literally need like half of the next day to recover and that night or maybe you know it just depends on what, what you're doing if you're if you're not a fully 100% committed fighter and uh, if you're if you need that time to recover you're not gonna be able to use the time to get stronger the time that the average athlete is recovering or resting or takes tones back a little bit so he can work on other things is the time when the the PED athlete can just go balls to the wall and continue training because they've already recovered. Their muscles have recovered faster and they've grown stronger. They've grown back stronger. So that's essentially all the PEDs do, man. It's not an overnight miracle thing. All it does is give you the ability to push yourself to the next level. The times when you would quit on your own, PEDs will give you the will, the strength to not quit, which brings me to my next point, which is why is why it's so incredibly unfair for a PED athlete to go up against a non-PED athlete, or I don't I don't even like the the uh, horm the uh, testosterone replacement TRT the t testosterone replacement I don't even like that I'm like dude. If you need to do that to fight, if 
you need to, if you claim you need testosterone to keep up with these guys, which you do because these, a lot of these guys are kids, if you claim and that's what you need, then maybe you should stop fighting. If you have to cheat in order just to stay on the same level, then stop fighting. And it's not really cheating, it is to a degree, but uh, my, sorry I rambled a little bit, but the, my point is that I think it's incredibly unfair. It's not something you'll get away from. But I say, hey man, I, I, I think I heard somebody else say this too. But make two divisions in all sports. Football, basketball, tennis, boxing, MMA, everything, bro. Make two divisions. One that's just your that's just that's absolute clean. It's just I don't know what you could call it. You could just call it being absolute. I'm absolutely a human. I'm just I'm absolutely clean. Just you know the absolute division where you're where everyone is level playing around Olympic style testing year round. You know? And then have another division where you are free to get jacked as you want. Because that's what they want. That's why they're doing it. They're doing it to get paid more so they can not necessarily break records, but so you can be more entertaining in whatever it is the sport you're doing. The harder you can hit somebody, the faster you can get the ball, the, the quicker or the more effectively you can get a ball in a goal or something or knock somebody out, the more people are going to tune in to watch you, which is why people are constantly trying to get big and fast. So, hell, that's what people at the core of humanity, that's what we want to see. We want to see somebody smash somebody else, and we love it nothing more than when somebody smashes somebody else, and that person can take it. Oh, they took it. Yeah, he smashed him, but he can take it, and now he's going to smash him back. And, like, that is exciting. That's what, at the core of humanity, that's what we want to see. We want to see somebody take a hard shot, lose, or be on the verge of losing, and we want to see that person that was the underdog come back and win. That's just what we like to see. That's the entertainment. So, but now you don't have the underdogs as much. You just have the overdogs. You just got people that are overkill, just who can do it the hardest, fastest, you know? And that's what people want to see. People want to, a lot of people want to see just brutalness. Like people like, they, they make the rule, the game save for football with the, the no head hits and adding pads and helmets and uh, concussion rules now and stuff. And that's all great. I think those are great things. I think those are beautiful things. I think boxing is aged beautifully. Amateur boxing is all aged beautifully. Everything has become a lot safer, but now it's getting to the point where people are too afraid. They know so much about the body, now they're afraid to put the body in any harm, even if it's not theirs. They don't want you putting your body in harm, even if you enjoy to do it in your life. They don't want you to do it because they know too much. And that's okay, I understand that. But my, I'm, I'm saying they should just make two divisions, man. If we want to see the big, you want to see how big and strong somebody can really get, don't give them no restraints. Let them do the PDs. If they're doing them anyway. Athletes are doing them anyway. They they are. So just make a division where they can do it. You know, or make a division where they can do it to a certain limit. I'm not saying they have to fucking get big like Bane from Batman. They don't have to get Arnold Schwarzenegger in there that knows how to fight. But maybe give limits to the peds too but i'm just saying i'm just saying it's not equal for everyone right now there's ways around it people are good at cheating there's ways to dehydrate yourself and go get smaller i don't like weight classes a lot either man uh but i'm just saying like just make it a fair playing ground have an absolute division then have then have a performance enhanced division <laughs> it would still be ped wouldn't it the ped fighters performance enhanced division don't call it a drug. You say drug. And that's the thing about it, too. You'll never see that, I don't think, because the word drug. Most sports, the way sports have thrived and been able to make money, especially football, basketball, baseball, is that they involve the youth, and they get kids off the street. They get kids in activities, and they keep them away from drugs and alcohol. So it, you're, you're crossing a fine line when you start having a PED division of athletes you know it's a very fine line which is why you gotta uh you gotta be careful with that man I, you know i think there should be but it's, it's i can see why there would never be
I can see why they wouldn't do that. So, that's all I'm gonna say, man. I think there should be two divisions. I understand why they wouldn't, because they got, they can't, you can't have kids looking at like, oh, I can just, I don't want to be in that absolute division, man. I want to be big, ripped in the hand. And like, I understand that, but to me, it's more honorable. But to me, it's more honorable to just take what you have and go in there. Get yourself to that, to wherever you want to be in your athleticism. My body versus your body. And all I used was the things around me. All I used was water and good nutrition to make my body stronger than yours. I didn't need a needle. I didn't need a pill. I didn't need a, I didn't need a ridiculous supplement. So, you know, I, th I, 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 I think it just it comes down to what kids learn. You know, you're gonna have the parents that teach the kid like, yeah, be clean. Be right. Use your body. Use use what use your God given talent, and then you're gonna have parents that are like, "Oh man, we're gonna get jacked up like that. We're gonna get rich. We're gonna make we're gonna make you big. We're gonna make you strong. Oh, you'll get there. It's all right." And I don't know. I don't even know what what. I don't even think that's a thing. I don't. I can't see a parent telling their kid like, "Yeah, the future will do the performance enhancing uh, division or PDs, whatever." So, who knows? I think there should be two divisions. I can see why there wouldn't be. It's okay if there's not. I understand it. So, that's just my little video ramble, holla about uh, PEDs, steroids, all those types of things, man. So, they're not good for the sport. They're not killing it. They've helped it. They've helped elevate it, but I don't like it. And that's all I'm saying right now. It's Marcus Robert Johnson at Dat Boy Tweak 428 on YouTube. You can share this video if you enjoyed it i would really appreciate that you can like it please subscribe to my channel if you're new if you enjoy what i'm doing don't know what i'm doing either. my youtube channel is evolving i'm doing advice thoughts boxing politics whatever just my daily life stuff funny crap i'm doing if i think it's funny if i'm bored i'm just doing some pranks whatever man if you want to see some or hear some or ask a question or some let me know we'll figure it out for you so Thanks for being with me. Thanks for chilling. All right. Peace. Hit this button.